This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Yeah, of course, because what are you doing to freeze or something like that? No, you, this is deal between you and dispatcher. Just call you dispatcher. Hey, bro, I need some fuel for, uh, I don't know, air condition or something like that. That's, that's not the problem. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at controversial company Super Eagle out of Illinois. I want to say this is a recall. I, well, I'm, I, I want to say that this is a, a call that was to me because I never made the, I, I made the call to them maybe about a year ago, maybe about a year and a half ago. But between that time and until now that I, that I just got this call today, Super Eagle have been reaching out to me. You guys know about controversial company Super Eagle, what they're offering. They're offering 88% of the load. They're offering the tractor and trailer on lease. Five years is yours. About close to 200K out the door. You already know that they turn off the fuel card. So you might want to fuel up your truck on every load they do have a load board that they, that you could choose from but you still have to get it authorized through the fleet manager you already know that there are drivers out there that are successful with super eagle not too many people going to come on and talk about their success they they just want to keep quiet and i get it i understand it but this young man reached out to me Let's see what he has to talk about. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. Start all over again, man, because I, I couldn't hear a word you were saying. I'm driving and everything. So who's this again? Sorry, sir. Uh, this is Carter Smith from Super Eagle Holding, trucking company from Chicago. I just call you to check if you're still interested to work with us to be a truck driver in our company. Oh, okay. Super ego. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, didn't expect the call from uh, from you. So, uh, you're looking you look you're looking for drivers to work for Super Ego or work one of the holdings companies yeah. that that you guys got going on. For Super Ego. Okay, so this will be directly for Super Ego, not for Floyd, not for Jordan or anything like that. This will be for Super Ego. Sir, Super Eagle is holding exactly, so we are separated or some divisions. Okay, that that's what but, I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to get an understanding because I, I I'm familiar with Super Eagle. I'm familiar with you guys. I'm familiar that you guys have other companies up under Super Eagle. So what I'm trying to understand is, I will be working for Super Eagle and none of the other companies that's up under it that's that's what you're offering uh you will work for super ego sir but you will drive uh, under one of our divisions exactly so yeah maybe you will be on the floyd rocket jordan or something like that okay so i got a crazy question why yeah? so why so many shell companies up under super ego holdings if i would just be working for super ego uh, first, we are separated at five little companies, exactly. Uh, so uh, we are really big company, three and a half thousand trucks. So it's easier, exactly, to to work on this, on this model. So I, I will be working for possibly one of the other names, but I will be getting paid from Super Eagle. That's, that's what you're saying? You will be paid... Uh, from Super Ego because Super Ego is the owner of of divisions. Um, so I'm curious to know because I I talk to a lot of Super Ego drivers. I I see them out here on the road and everything, and I I pull up on them in the fuel islands, and I try to get their get their experience with uh with the company. Uh, some of them, some of it's not 
all that great, bruh. So when I get a load, uh, if I if I get a load, uh, my fuel card won't be on until I get that load. Can you explain that to me? Yeah. Yeah, that's the company policy because some drivers still in the fuel. That's not a secret or something like that. If you have a load, your fuel card will be on. If you don't have a load, your car, your your fuel card is turned off. Okay, so what if I get in a in a situation like uh, I I would I I would get a load, and let's just say that load cancels or anything like that, and I'm sitting up. Uh, I'm I'm going to need to idle my truck for weather conditions. Uh, would I be able to? Uh, would I be able to use the fuel car for that type of emergency purposes? Yeah, of course. Because what are you doing to freeze or something like that? No, you. This is deal between you and dispatcher. Just call your dispatcher. Hey, bro, I need some fuel for uh, I don't know air condition or something like that. That's that's not the problem. Some drivers that I that I talk to as well. Some of the consensus that that I that that I'm looking at is uh, the money. Like for example, I would get a load or something like this because this is what 1099, uh, uh, 1099 lease purchase, eighty percent of the load, right? Yeah, eighty-eight percent of the load. Oh, it's eighty-eight percent of the load. Okay, and I would be yeah. able to. I will be able to choose my own loads. Uh, you will launch Super Ego Holding Driver application, so you can choose the loads from that exactly. Oh, okay. So there is no force dispatch. You can choose where you want to run. I'm to understand that you guys have you got you guys have your own load boards that I will be able to yeah. choose my loads from, right? Yeah. But. Let's say if I choose a load, because I, I talked to a driver recently about that. Uh, let's say I choose a load, right? And let's say, uh, let's say I say, okay, this is the load I want to run. I still got to get it authorized through the, through the fleet manager for that load? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. So I, so I, so what? I choose the load from the load board, and then what? I just call it in or send it in to the to the fleet manager to get it to get it approved. I still got to get it approved though through the fleet manager. First, uh, you will open the application, find the load. Uh, you will have the 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 button exactly call dispatcher, and you will call your dispatcher. Hey, bro, I see that load. I want that. Okay, and he will take that from you. For you. Okay, so in other in other words, I'm I'm still not able to choose my own loads, pretty much. I mean, it, it's I mean, I I will be able to choose my loads, but I still got to go through the fleet manager in order to get it approved, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. Um, you you can choose all loads from our load board. Oh, okay, okay. Um, what about the rate con? Would I be able to? Would I be able to see the rate con? Because a lot of drivers are complaining that they're not able to see the weight con, and the rate con is different from the amount of what they actually choose. First, you will get the hundred percent transparency. You can see all details before you accept the load, like a type, price, mileage. We don't hide anything exactly. Uh, also, if you Sir, price for the load is variable, of course. Uh, it's negotiable. Our dispatchers uh, negotiate with the brokers about the load price, exactly. So uh, price is not the same uh, if urgently need to be uh, pick up and delivery, if, uh, it's, if it's load for tomorrow or I don't know, next week. Uh, price is exactly the variable. It's not the fix. What about the money? Um, like... What would what would be the expenses every every week? First weekly, you have track note from three hundred weekly up to seven hundred, depending from truck to truck exactly. After that, you will have uh, 
for the trailer, 225 weekly if you want to rent, 335 if you want to lease. In both cases, insurance included, and you will need to pay uh, cargo insurance, 250 weekly. Okay, so about about how much total that I'm that I'm looking at it as expenses that's coming out of my my paycheck every week. Want used truck? Do you want brand new? I really don't know, sir. It's variable. Okay, okay. So we are are we looking at about a thousand plus or a thousand less? A thousand plus. Uh, what about the fuel? Um, do you guys offer any type of fuel incentives, fuel discounts? No, sir. We're working on it exactly, but right now we don't have it. Okay, so the fuel is 100% my responsibility? Yeah, you will get the company fuel card, you will pay the fuel with that, but it will be deducted from your paycheck. Okay. Well, let, now let me let me stop you right there for a second. Um, if the if the fuel is my responsibility, then why is my fuel car turned on and off? I mean, if if I'm paying for for the fuel, if the fuel is my responsibility, why why am I subjected to my fuel car being on and off? Why why I can't just use the fuel car whenever I need it if I'm responsible for the fuel? Yeah, I understand, but let's say probably in a middle of week, if you take a fuel card on and you make uh, your truck full of gas or or of the fuel, uh, what will be if you leave our company in Wednesday? Exactly, because Patrick is every Friday. You leave our company, take a whole fuel from the truck. And we don't have from where to deduct that fuel. You you understand my skepticism uh, because they say talk to the drivers and get the drivers' experience with the company, and that's that's what I've been doing. I've been talking to a lot of drivers, and it's it's like maybe I will say uh, sixty forty uh, about some of them says it's good, some of them says it's bad. Um, what about the trucks themselves? Uh, like, uh, when I get there, I, uh, what, would I be able to choose the truck? And if so, um, what's the maintenance agreement on the truck in case if it breaks down? Uh, about the trucks, every day we have avail available about 300 trucks in our yard, so you can choose from that. If we don't have, you can take, well, if you pass the whole orientation process, we can buy a flight ticket to pick up one of our trucks on the road to do a recovery for one of our trucks. If you want any specific truck and we don't have at the moment on the yard, exactly. You mentioned uh, you you mentioned the fact that we might have to go and recover the trucks. Why so? Yeah, and you will get. Yeah. Why why so many recoveries? Because I I talked to one driver. And he actually works for you guys as a recovery driver, and he says that it, it, it's it's a crazy amount of amount of trucks out there. Why why so many why so many trucks is being left behind, bro? That's because of our that's our biggest let's say mistake in the company. It's company policy that we hiring drivers with four months of experience. Those guys don't know how to back up the truck exactly. And that's our biggest problem in company. If you take a driver with four months, if you take a driver with four months of experience and he have four months of experience like a company driver, they want to drive a thousand miles week weekly. And when he get the paycheck, he get nothing. Was the problem that's the least to purchase? It's not a company driver position. If you want to drive a thousand miles weekly better don't come in super ego you will make nothing or negative page exactly it's a simple math if you need to make the money for you for our company to pay a fuel to pay a track note and everything if you if you will not drive three to four thousand miles weekly you can get the money you you will make nothing some drivers are claiming that they're not even getting that three thousand miles uh is that because of the inexperience 
of the drivers that's coming in? Sometimes, probably, because drivers want want to drive a long miles from Pennsylvania to California, but those loads are not right now a better paid batteries to drive a Midwest uh, as load is shortest, price is better right now. But you can make your own plan. Let's talk about it. So what 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 about the lows? I mean, what what am I looking at? Is it is it is is the going rate two dollars a mile, three dollars a mile? What what I'm looking at? What that's possibility? Depending from area to area, right now, but on Midwest, two point one dollar per mile is average. It go higher or lower. All right, all right. So you so I I could potentially get about two dollars and ten cent a mile. Uh, if I choose the right loads, that's the average. Loads go, going from 1.8 to 2.9, but depending from from load to load, from mileage, from type condition. What, what about occasional breakdowns? Like, let's say if my truck breaks down, how how long would I be sitting? And do I get paid for? And do I get paid for breakdown pay, or do I at least get breakdown pay? We will give you a flight ticket to take another truck in Chicago, sir, until your truck is fixed. Because we pay by the load, not by the miles. So if you stay two weeks in the shop, our company does have nothing, and you will make nothing. Okay. All right. Um, 88% of the load. Uh, uh, what, what are the trucks? Again, uh, what I'm looking at as far as... Uh, years go i i can get a can i get a 2024 out the gate or what, what i'm looking at as far yeah. as uh picking From trucks 2019 up to 2024 okay so i i could potentially get a brand new truck would that would that cost me more every every week because of the newer truck uh 700 is a weekly for brand new 2024 and 5000 down payment on five years contract total price 187000 Five years, uh, would there be a balloon payment at the end of at at the end of it or no? No, uh, no balloon payment at the end after the contract truck is yours. Okay, so I will be able to. I, I, I after end of everything, I'll be able to. I could be able to drive my truck up under anybody else's authority, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, okay. Um, all right. Well, my last question is. Uh, I, I don't know if you're able to answer this, but there's a Facebook group um, and a lot of guys in the Facebook group is talking about this um, class action lawsuit that has been floating around. Um, how would that affect me coming into you guys if if that class action lawsuit takes fruition? We don't have a problem with class action or something like that. Yeah, we got some one class action with uh, Larry Atkinson and some other drivers. But I really don't know for what or what's going on with that. We work normally. We have the, the drivers, the loads. So I really don't know, sir. I can track with my supervisors, but I I really don't know nothing about it. Gotcha. I, it, it, that's fair. I mean, I, I was just asking. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff, right? Right. It's it's a lot of stuff that's 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 going on with uh with with the company. Uh, how would you guys, if I'm interested, uh, how would you guys get me there, and what would be my accommodations? We don't cover transportation, sir. So this is on you. If we approve you, if you are able to work with us. This is on you, so it's company policy. I'm so sorry about that, but we don't cover transportation. We can we can help you to reserve some hotel room or something like that, but most of my drivers sleep in a truck because orientation is only one night, two days. Okay, so I, I, I come in, do the damn thing, and I'm in the truck the, that, that same night, huh? First day, if you you will come on our yard, choose a truck. After that, you will do a drug test. Next day, if drug test is negative, the road. Okay, okay. In, grab the truck and and go. 
Uh, what about uh, what, what about the um, what about the trailer? Am, am I responsible for the trailer? Because drivers are saying that the, the trailers is attached to their trucks, so there's no dropping hooks. This is all live loads and unloads. All live loads, no dropping hooks, uh, no casemate oil or tankers. Broker pay for all fees, detentions, and layovers. It's a live load. And and the trailer would the trailer be mine after five years too? Am I am I paying into the trailer or or no? If you want to rent the trailer, it will be two twenty five weekly insurance included. If you want to lease, it will be three hundred thirty five insurance included on three and a half years. Total price is uh, fifty four thousand. So, uh, fifty four a hundred k. So I'm looking. Let's round that up to maybe about uh one ninety, a hundred and ninety after after five years, pretty much, right? For for everything, yeah, truck right. and trailer. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Um, and as far as the as far as the uh, the amount, it's still eighty eight percent of the load. So average, like you said, is about two ten a mile. Okay, okay. Eighty eight percent of the load. Okay. Well, uh, I I I appreciate you reaching out to me. Uh, again, like I said, I. I do my due diligence. I, I talk to a lot of drivers out here and get their get their feeling. Some, like I said, it's it's pretty much sixty forty out here. And uh, I, I say the sixty percent is is not that happy uh, with with the company. But uh, I'm I'm my own person. I make my own decisions. So I guess it's something. That if I want to try out and see on my own, I, I pretty much should just do that, right? Okay, sir, if you change your mind, I'm here for you. This is my direct number. If you have more questions, I'm here for you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, again, I really appreciate your time I, and, and honesty. It might not work for me, but I, I, I would say that I will pass the information along. How's that? All right, cool. You mind if I you mind if I pass your phone number along as well? You said this is your direct line, right? Yes, sir. No problem. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I'll I'll do that. I'll do that. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day and drive safe. All right, now. Well, well, well. Look who popped up on the MTC. Super Ego. Controversy Company Super Ego out of Illinois. Yes. The recruiter reached out to your man and offered a truck and trailer for 88% of the load. And if you guys heard the truck, if I go the full route for five years, about 190k will come out of my pocket for truck and trailer and this is this is what they giving you this is what they telling you this is what they offering you now he did mention if you guys paid attention to the conversation he did mention that a lot of drivers that don't have the experience and coming from a company mindset to come into an owner operator mindset y'all heard what he said right he said uh, he said what i was saying that a lot of them drivers don't have the experience they don't know how to run the truck in other words he's saying that a four month driver don't know how to be successful running a complete lease they just think they want to get in and make all the money which i mean it, that because of the experience you get drivers that comes in at four months that inspecting a lot but do a little 
They can't run. They they only coming in thinking that they only going to run a thousand miles a week. They need somebody to come in there and run three thousand week. I mean three thousand a week every day, every week. He said it. He said it. Y'all heard the conversation. He said that you're out there not only making money for yourself, but you're making money for the company as well. And if you're not hitting three thousand miles a week you're not making no money the company's not making no money you're going to end up seeing those negative checks every week now i know a lot of you and i talked to a lot of you guys in the beginning it's all gravy i don't know what happened i don't know where the turnaround comes but i i asked them about the low boards asked them about the average so what is what is it? I and I gave maybe 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 the variance is off with the percentage that I gave 60 40 probably leaning more to a 75 25 <laughs> you know what I'm saying because there's a lot of you guys that's going over there and as I and as I said you 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 is your own person and you're gonna go over there to figure it out for yourself. Maybe I can do better. Maybe I could get a, 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 a better fleet manager. Maybe I can get a better truck. Maybe I can get a better trailer. Maybe I can maybe I can start off with the with the with the with the good fleet manager. Maybe. There's a lot of maybes in that. A lot of you guys went through a whole bunch of fleet managers and still didn't come out on top. Super Eagle. I, I don't have to go and ask if you guys driven or drive or or do you have any experience because you guys reach out to me and share your experience. <laughs> I was just surprised. I, I was. I, I seen the Illinois uh, on my on my caller ID, and I'm like Illinois. It, it could be a number of companies out of Illinois. Dude came on and said, "Yes, I am such and such from Super Eagle." Oh, oh, I hey, oh, okay. I know. I asked him how did my number popped up. But if I'm not mistaken, because I did to make the call with them uh, about a year ago, maybe they they wasn't they wasn't as controversial as they are now. But that that same number it was probably going through the list of numbers. And to be honest with you, I, I, I honestly want to say that Super Eagle is maybe maybe they might be hurting right now because. They, they, a lot of drivers are quitting, but a lot of the recruiters are asking them to come back, give them a second chance, see if we can see what happened that we can fix. So maybe they are hurting just a little bit. But my question is, like he said, Super Ego is a holdings company. It's, it's, it's the it's the roof everything else up under it is what you be driving for and he mentioned about five of them i i know a few i think it's rocket jordan uh and a couple of others so i guess you'll be driving for floyd that that's another one so you'll be driving for Floyd, but the but the paycheck will be coming from Super Eagle. But if I'm not mistaken, I know I talked to a few drivers in the group, and they showed me their settlements, and some of their settlements is coming from uh, coming from other things other than Super Eagle. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, a lot of you guys that are over there and i know I, I know a few other questions uh 
that should have came to mind questions like the eld uh but even if i would have asked that i don't think he probably would have came out and said yeah yeah we we'll, we'll do that I, I don't think he would have came out and said anything about that but again i i say before you do your due diligence um read all the articles go to the safer score listen to some of the drivers make well i take that back you might not want to listen to all the drivers because i i talked to the one young lady and a driver kind of kind of told her how good he was doing and inspired her to get in and everything went to hell in the handbasket and the driver that inspired her to get in is no longer there a couple of drivers a couple of popular drivers they're not there either so you might want to just take some of their review i guess with a, with a gain of salt uh, i guess so think about it is super eagle a company you want to take a chance with if you want to take a chance with them i will leave the information for the young man in the description below again all you got to do is type in super ego and everything controversial company super ego will pop up you will see more bad reviews but you your own person though you are your own person so sometimes you're just not going to take the advice of others maybe you just want to find out for yourself if controversial company super ego is right for you that's gonna do it everybody i am lockout man and this is the mtc on the recruiter call channel if you guys want me to check out any other companies you can do that hit me up in the gmail that's lockout man podcast guess at gmail.com or as always leave it in the comments below or if you want to support the channel or support the cause you can do that hit the cash app dollar sign lockout men let me know who you want me to review and i will shout you out for that coffee thank you very much until next time everybody who's next